Alright, welcome to another episode of Fallout 3. For some reason, Broken Steel is, well, broken. There's supposed to be a manhole right here, but it's not there. And I have no way to get where I need to be to the presidential tunnel. It's just gone. So I need to be over there. So I shall do them. Let's start on our first DLC. On our first DLC. Which is Mothership Zeta. Spaceship? No way. Whoa. Hey, hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry, that'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. This had to be a bad dream. Yeah? Well then wake the hell up, because I'm tired of being stuck in it. Sorry, kid, but this is really happening. You're stuck here just like me. So how do we get out of here? I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit. You hear that? It's coming again. Get back against the wall now. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> Well, at least it wasn't coming for us. Hmm. Hello? Oh no, they got someone. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? What the hell is that thing? Why are they trying to take that guy? What? You've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta right. get out of here, kid. Now! Let's do it. How do we get out of here? Now you're talking. I can tell you, there ain't an easy way out of here. I've looked around, I can't find any panels, wires, circuits, nothing. I'm thinking they did us a favor putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. And for the record, the name's Soma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What kind of advantage? They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. All right, fine. What's your plan? They want us alive for something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is going to kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, 
and then jump them when they come in to break it up. You're kidding me. That's the best you got? Yeah, that's what I've got. I don't see you coming up with anything brilliant, Miss I've Been Here Five Whole Minutes. Fair. <sighs> How do I know I can trust you? What if you try to kill me? You gotta be kidding me. You always this paranoid? Think about it. You've been lying here a while now, out cold. If I wanted you dead, why wait till now? I could have just made sure you never woke up. No fuss at all. But I didn't, did I? So yeah, I'm thinking you can afford to show me a little trust. Now are we doing this or what? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, go ahead, hit me. All right, I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? All right. And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. I, I. Yeah, we're really fighting ah. now, aren't we? Ah, yeah. Come on, bring it on, girl. Come on, bring it on, make girl. it look good. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. Hit me. Damn, bro, she blocking everything. Oh yeah, worst fight in the world here. Yeah, we're really fighting now, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we're really fighting. This is us fighting. Oh! Take him out! Yeah. Oh. Up on this alien. Oh! Ow. Oh! Bro, they can't do damage, though. Oh! Oh, damn it! Oh, damn it! Oh, oh my head! My naked body. Oh, damn it. Got one of them. Oh. Aim for the head. Grab anything useful and let's go. Who knows how long? Aim for the head. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Dang. That's where we were. I'm guessing. Check out these guys. Enclave officer. Oh? Yeah. Hi! Hi there! Listen, can you let me out of here? What the hell is this thing? What are we supposed to do with it? You have to shut that off to open the door here. Well, not really shut it off. More like blow it up. If you turn off the coolant, it'll get really hot and then explode. So be careful, okay? Alright. Turn off the coolant. Thanks. Are you escaping? Do you want to see the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. I can show you if you want. Really? Lead the way. Great! Come on. <clears throat> she gonna open it. Nice, nice. Oh, great. Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? Wait for it, Soma. Wait for it. See? See? I told you I could help. I know. Thanks, kid. We're getting out of here. Want to come with us? Sure. I love exploring, and it's been a while since I've been out and about. We'll have to be careful, because they'll be mad that we're out. But it's okay. I know how to get through the steamworks. We need to get to the big engine room, so I can show you the rest of the ship. Let's go. Alright. How do you know so much about this place? Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes, I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. 
but they always catch me and put me back here. Are you all alone? Where's your family? I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago, before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah, it was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. Dang. You know where we're going? Sure! We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. Nice. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. Okay. I guess okay. you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? I suppose. I'll see you. Okay, come on! Alright, let's go. Nice. Alien squid food. Alright, take all. Steam works. Wait here for a second. There's more of them coming. No, I just made that. Our aliens, these guys are really cool. Speech up a little bit. Tense training again. Energy weapons. I'm gonna go heavy on that. Good, does it? Come on, bro. Gotcha. Oops, I didn't see those two. Uh, there's a door on the left I can open, though. You should try and go that way. Sorry.
See if there's anything over here. Okay, oh, I'll is. show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. I... Aw, oh, nuts. They turned it off! Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. Feels sort of tingly, too. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know! Come on, I know another way up. Okay. What's your other way? <clears throat> so, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I never had the courage to wake them up, but I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit, and we need him to use it. Why do, why do we need a spaceman to help us? Well, because he's got a spacesuit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. Huh? If they turn out the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. Um. Okay, let's talk to the astronaut. This is going to be so neat. Alright. Nice. Hello, sir. What's... what's going on? Who are all these people? <clears throat> it's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. We're friends. What? Yeah? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Last people I saw were... Oh my god! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind! Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you! I can promise you, I'm not an alien. In fact, I was abducted. Ugh. I can promise you, I'm not an alien. In fact, I was abducted. Like you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you assumed human form. I heard they can do that. Or you are human, but they took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. If I were with the aliens, the last thing I would have done is release you. I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute. My men! My unit! Have you seen them? I'm afraid not. All I've found are these people. Oh my god. I'm responsible for them. And now they're lost. Or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. Don't worry. We are in this together. And I will help you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Do you think you'll be able to assist us medically if we need it? I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds. Some kind of biological gel. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. Nice. I've been eating it. It does nothing. But, uh, could you make me some adapted biogel? Sure. Here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. Yeah. Alright. Hello, Sally. Oh no! That poor astronaut! Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. Mm. They'll be waiting for you. 
but you can suck out all the air in part of the ship so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. All right. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on, and I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. <laughs> this is fun. It is. So what are these generators? How do they work? Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like, whoosh, and it comes out of the floor. And then there are these things you press down, and it goes, and then you better get out of the way. You'll see. What an explanation. I'll see ya. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown-ups with you. Yeah, I'm a grown-up. Uh, sir? Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm not getting a single word here. Okay. It must have fried your brain or something. So stressful. So stressful. Nice. What's up? This is where I needed to go. Overload assembly line and back up.
Here it is. Let it get big. generator right. here we go all right one two three skedaddle Salad. You did it! Yeah. Woohoo! Wow! You did it! Now you're gonna have to go outside of the ship. I know it looks scary, but that's the only way to the top. Mm. Oh, make sure you wear a spacesuit before you go out there, or you could die. Don't forget. Yeah. I gotcha. Let's heal up. Ugh. Yes. Hey, don't forget to put on the astronaut suit before starting the decompression sequence. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. in a year.
glitchy. Come on, why do you keep doing that? Go stop soon. All I'll right. get the door. I'll go ahead and change it back into my stuff. It's broken. <coughs> nice, nice. Is that Earth? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Did you see that? Scary, but also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? See what? What the hell was that? Pretty obvious, wasn't it? They're putting on a big show trying to scare us. It means we're getting under their skin. That's a good thing. Of course, now it looks like we've got a big death ray thing we need to take down before they blow up the whole damn planet. But it's nice to know we're having an effect, don't you think? Yeah. Oh no! They turned this one off too! You're going to have to find the other end and turn it back on. Of course. Wait here. I'll see if I can find the controls. Good luck. We'll stay right here and wait for you. Bet. Hope we find what we're looking for soon. Train experience with alien weaponry has made you a Xenotech expert. That's cool. On, girl, where are you at? Oh, oh. Thank you. <sighs> sure, why not? Hmm. 
Do perception. What do we have here? Brahmin. Those would be handy around the wasteland, I'm gonna tell you what. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're good. Look at that, that's cute, that's beautiful.
Hey. Hello. Hi, right, I'll see you. Yeah. Over here. All right. Holy shit! Where did that come from? Good question. Wow! This looks just like the bridge on Captain Cosmos. I Soma, you go stand over there. Mr. Elliot, you're there. Oh shit. Paulson, you can be Jangles the Moon Monkey. And I get to aim the death ray. I am no goddamn space monkey. I've got a lock on their ship. Fire when ready. Damn it, their shields are back up at max. Shit, right, they hit right. the core and sapped out power. Look around for some buttons or something to restart the generators. That looks like it's working. I'm bad at this. Let him in. Fine. Could use his arm in here if it gets. did all of the intense training part thingies so you will do do mysterious stranger sure it's a big one let's go you wrecked them Hey, good to see you again. The Sally. Yeah, we won! I knew we could do it! I knew we could beat them! You're even better than Captain Cosmos! Thanks for the help, but I couldn't have done it without my trusty sidekick. I know. And you're very welcome. What will you do now? I think I'm going to stay here for a while. I don't think I like it much down there anymore. And there's still a bunch of the ship I haven't seen. I'll tell you what. If I find anything really neat, I'll bring it to you. Okay? Cool. Well, I'll see ya. Have fun. Sir? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, I thought you should know... Someone must have hit a button during the fight just now. If I understood the display correctly, I think we sort of launched a homing beacon of some kind down to the surface. Landed just outside DC. I wouldn't mention it, except that I think... Like I said, I'm not sure. I think it's a way to get back to Earth. Seems like there's a teleporter in the captain's quarters. I mean, I guess they're your quarters now. So I, I guess you can go home if you want. Oh, don't worry, I'll stick around up here and keep an eye on things. Bet, bet, bet. Well, uh, guess I'll go home now. I'll see you guys. Cool. Alright, here we are, back at the Mojave Wasteland. Uh, the capital wasteland, my bad. 
<laughs> capital. Capital. Alright. Well, that's the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed that DLC. And we'll be back with more Fallout 3 DLC action. Peace.